Just in case for your uh, mountain needs. This is still incorrect. It's 7.59 exactly. I said I was gonna leave by eight Saturday morning. I'm super duper tired, but we are gonna go ride. Uh, I don't know if you can see me. The sun's coming in, but I gotta go. Let me throw everything in the car and we gotta get down there. We're gonna go ride this though. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I left this early on a Saturday, so I gotta check how traffic is. Ugh, I ate so much pizza last night. Weird mucus thing going on with my throat, too. Ugh. My friend from college was in watching the Cubs when they were in the World Series, and he showed me this picture again. He had just picked up this Razor thing. It's an all-terrain vehicle, off-road awesomeness. He was telling me how him and his girlfriend were going up the weekend before, and they found themselves in an area where they were just literally going up this terrible, terrible incline. He also said, be prepared to get muddy. I don't have much stuff to get dirty. I don't get dirty that often, so I really had to kind of put things together. I've got my rain jacket. That's a good windbreaker, too, that I presume is going to be resistant because it's Good for water, but hopefully I get there before nine. We leave then. Couple hours drive to the site. I don't know. I've never really ridden one of these. I should have got more clamps for my GoPro, but I think my stick will be able to do a lot. Anyways, and hopefully get back at a good time so I can get some rest before working tonight. <laughs> This thing too, this is classic old basketball hoop. This is what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to ride your brakes down this, we'll call this a mountain, and uh, Yep, see, gonna get past. It says we're about 100 miles still. I think we're gonna stop for maybe some gas and trail mix stuff here when we see a cool mountain town. First stop. <laughs> I haven't had a Pop-Tart in 30 years, so I'm gonna have one now. And I got a cheese stick because I saw it. Think is the trailhead, but we're trying to find. Oh, here's another 240. What is this one? Is that the 240 continuation road? It is about 11:30. We finally kind of made it here. We're trying to find parking. That's. I don't know. Where we're gonna park. We'll park somewhere. Oh, now Gene. All right, we gotta gear up. I forgot my tri mount, but it's okay. <laughs> Out here, I'm geared up. I'm bringing my GoPro so it doesn't get dirty. But I'm bringing this camera too, it might get dirty.
That's so cool. Look at this. Oh. Straight drop. Yep. Trying not to drop my camera off this cliff. We're at the uh, we're at our first stop, and there's an awesome, awesome waterfall. it to the lake. I already have to change my batteries out. This place is very, very cool though. We think there's a mine up here that we want to go check out. <gasps> Look at these giant sheets of ice. Uh -huh. Oh my god. It's like glass. Look at this. Oh, there's a fish. This would literally be a perfect place to fish on. Was it the turn factor? I think it's turned farther up that way. Okay. I'm gonna check this out. This looks like an outhouse, but it has this giant, giant door. There's just a bunch of, a couple shelves and stuff. Maybe back in the mining days, someone used it for like, that's true. Found another little thing here. What was this for? I don't know, this is, a, this is another big, big iron door. Is this another storage thing? Yeah, it's gotta be. Man, this thing has been here forever. There's another like house thing over there too. Yeah, that's the trail. We found another house we're gonna actually hike up to. See, this thing is cool and all, but it spoils you because now you don't wanna hike ever. You just wanna drive up. Yep. This is crazy, someone lived here. Oh, really? Yeah. That looks kinda sketchy. There's a room back here that looks like Someone was definitely living from for a while. Here and also goes up that way. So he hiked up that way? Maybe. There's so much stuff in here. <laughs> this is a really, really cool view, but this is not helping me not buy this new toy that my friend Kevin has now. Mine. This is a mine here. It either caved in or, my, or somebody caved in. Look at the rock it's looking too. That's crazy. This literally is a parking lot right at the face of this mountain. So we're trying to go to this mine over here, but the trail ends, so we have to use our feet. Yeah, that's a window right there. This was built into the mountains. Oh, oh. Is it a mine? You can go in. Look at the water comes through it. Are you sure you can go in it? Abandoned mine hazards. Unsafe mine shafts in the hallways. Look at this though, the infrastructure that's laid down prior, all this wood. Oh shit, there's new carving. Gosh. Oh my god, that's fucking crazy. You should see like down there, there's slabs where they had iron posts come in for some reason. Probably pure cast iron. What's it say? Ancient ruins, archaeological resources, fossils, and historical remains in the vicinity of the notice are fragile and replaceable. Antiques Act of 1906. Yeah. Enjoy but do not destroy your American heritage.
down without going down a cliff. Looks like iced coffee. We made it back, and I scored a free frisbee, so this is like the best day ever. Not to mention us riding this beast. And buy one. Ooh. That was a great experience. I was gonna say hike, but we only did like five seconds of hiking. Oops. It's five o'clock right now. Um, I have to work at like nine-ish. What I should have done was ask him what trail we're going to, find out which way we're going, thus, I could have brought everything I need for work since I'm on the south, south side of town. I could have brought everything I needed for work, got ready here, and then just went in early or just rested and then got in early. Instead, I have to drive all the way back to my place and then come back in, but it's okay. The other thing is I could have just kind of checked where we were going as we kind of passed an area that's closer to my house too. So I could have just met him down and went, it's all good. Now I know for the future, but I like to see how I can get back. I've never driven on this, on the main highways down here at this late hour, so I'm hoping there's not too much traffic. But we'll see. 